top five indie games on Kickstarter this August 2014. Yes! <laughs> It's freezing in here. Chill out, dude. It's only a game. Oh, yeah, I knew that. What's it called again? Jotun. It's a pretty chill game. Isn't that your second chill pun? I guess I've just got the chills. You're horrible. Thank you, but less about me. Let's talk Jotun. It's very snowy, but also very Norsey, as in Norse mythology. You play as Thora. After an inglorious death, and must prove yourself to the gods in Viking purgatory that you are worthy to enter Valhalla. Proving yourself pretty much equates to summoning Jotun, which are giants in North mythology, and then defeating them. The size of these bosses immediately draws comparisons to Shadow of the Colossus. I actually first played Shadow of the Colossus a few years ago when it was graphically outdated, but was still in awe of the epic magnitude of the bosses, and if any game is going to follow in those footsteps, I'm excited. Throw in a healthy portion of exploring, two-handed axe wielding, and tough and fast-paced combat, and Jotun is all up not just a cool, but sound idea. This is not a fairy tale. There's nothing fair about it. My name is Red Riding Hood. I have no father. Hmm, that's not how I remember Red Riding Hood. Yeah, developers Grimm are giving us a much darker tale on the nursery rhyme character. And it's not just the eyeshadow. Listen to this. I even got my grandma served for lunch. Yikes. This seems a lot like American McGee's Alice, a twisted version of Alice in Wonderland. And that's a good thing. It makes fairy tales a hell of a lot more kick-ass. And with all that hack and slash combat to complement the platforming, ass shall be kicked. Not to mention, Red's got a goddamn axe. And did we mention how terrifyingly messed up the villains are? Like what the hell happened to Pinocchio? It sort of reminds me of someone with a big nose. Regardless, Wolf Red Hood Diaries is going to make an old nursery rhyme totally rockstar. Well, hopefully better than that. What do you think of Hive Jump? Well, it's 2 to 4 player co op with procedural levels set in pixel sci fi. A good time with some friends. A good time, eh? Shut up, you idiot. It's also got some pretty unique concepts. You're obviously talking about its permadeath system, in which your backpack functions as a mobile respawn. Yes, but also how when you choose an alien hive level to jump into, hence the name Hive Jump, you influence the ongoing galactic war which plays out in a turn-based fashion in between your jumps. Pretty cool in my opinion. If you back $15 or more, you'll get the game. Oh, hello. I'm Arthur K. Finkelstein, homemade jam enthusiast, wildlife dental society member, and author of Jenny the Clue. Bonjour tout le monde, Jenny le Clue. You know the game's not set in France, right? Oh, thank God, because that's all the French I know. It's actually set in Atherton, right when Jenny's mother is accused of murder. The player then goes on a clue-seeking choose-your-own-adventure that allows you to experience both mature and innocent paths. The choices you make actually influence how the author, Arthur K. Finkelstein, writes the story and which parts of the world you explore. One playthrough may follow a sci-fi route, while another will follow a horror one. The funding target of Jenny LeClue will get the first in the planned trilogy made. I call bullshit. You guys put Aegis Effect at number one on your June Kickstarter video. Now it's Aegis Defenders. Conspiracy much? What does Aegis even mean? I don't know, but when you put Defenders on the end, it equals awesome. 
Sporting gorgeously hand-painted pixels, Aegis Defenders is a fun mix of exploring, building, and defending. Exploring is fairly self-explanatory, and building refers to the RPG element of upgrading and customizing classes, weapons, and abilities. It's the defending part that's new. Well, at least in a platformer. You have to defend from enemies on all sides. And so you can build turrets as well as swap between your characters and utilize their passive abilities. Aegis Defenders is number one for meeting our golden rule of creativity. For the game to be fully realized with co-op and more character classes, it needs to reach its stretch goals. So think about backing. Speaking about backing, would you guys back any of the games in this video? We want to know. So tell us in the comments below. We had fun, and if you did too, why not hit subscribe? Thanks for watching. My name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh. We'll see you next time here on Indie Former. Oh, will we? <laughs> Top 5 Indie Games on Kickstarter this August 2014. <laughs> Top 5 Indie Games on Kickstarter this August 2014. Top 5 Indie Games on Kickstarter this August 2014. Go! Go.